Hi, I'm Marla, and today I'm going to show you how to make these rice juggling balls. Juggling can be a very challenging hobby to learn, but having the right props can make it a lot easier. So, the things you're going to need for this activity is some rice, brown or white, a measuring cup, some Ziploc plastic bags, scissors, and balloons of your choice. You're going to need about two-third cup of rice for each ball, and so I have a two-third cup here to help measure it. So, the colors I have for the balloons are red, white, and blue. And for each ball, you're going to use two balloons, so I'm going to pick my colors. And then, um, what you're going to want to do for each balloon is to cut off the long part that you would normally blow into when blowing up a balloon and toss that aside because we're not going to be needing that anymore. So we'll do that with each balloon. Alright, now that I've finished cutting all of the balloons, we're going to just keep this part right here, and I'm going to put that aside and pick up one of my sandwich bags. So, I'm going to take my rice and put in about a two-third cup of rice for my bag. Depending on how big you want your juggling balls to be, you can add more or less rice. And when you zip it closed, you're going to want to try to lock out as much air as possible so they will fit nicely into the balloons. So you'll take your first color, and there's going to be two balloons per ball. And whichever color you want to show up the least, as you can see in these, the white is the one that was first and the blue is second. You're going to use the one you want to show up least first. So I'm going to take my bag, and I just fold it in half and stick the part with the zipper in first. This part can be a little bit more complicated, so if you need someone else to help you, that's fine. So, now that I have the bag in, you can just see the little hole where the rice was sticking out. So, we have this first layer on, and it should look like this. And then I'm going to take my second color, which would be the one I want to be on the very outside. As you can see in this example, it is white. And I'm going to put that over. And I'm going to start putting the balloon over from where the little hole where the rice is, is. So that way it covers it up completely. You can also add another layer on top if you want to make sure that it doesn't pop. But this is what it should look like, and you now have your first juggling ball. So for each other one, you're just going to repeat this same process two more times, and I'll show you once more with your rice. We'll just put it in the bag, and zip it up. So this next balloon I'm going to do is going to be red on the outside and blue on the inside. So. I'm going to use my blue, fold up the bag, and stick it in. Some of the balloons can be harder to get in than others, but just be patient with it. And so we have our second one, and I'm going to put my red balloon on the outside. So I'll just open that up and slip it over. So we now have two juggling balls and I'm going to repeat this process one more time with white on the outside and red on the inside. So I'll end up with three juggling balls. So take our rice. Zip it, and 
I'm going to have my red on the inside for this one. So I'll fold my plastic bag and push it on in. And so this one did come open, but that's perfectly fine. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more rice and try this again. If you don't want to get your surface very messy, you can tape it, although that might show up on the outside of your bowl. So I'm gonna try this again. And we got it. So, as you can see, I had a little bit more of a difficult time in getting this bag in than with the other ones, but I just had to give it a second try and it worked out fine. So, I'll put the last balloon on, and there we have our three balls. And now, you can practice your juggling. Thanks for watching. Bye!